always get sick this time of year. If only Papa Smurf hadn't gone away to take care of Melchior. <laughs> he he could have made me some medicine. I'm much sicker than Melchior. <laughs> of course, Papa Smurf thinks there's nothing wrong with me. It's all in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That silver tongued rogue, Dr. Charlton promised his miracle tonic could cure our ailments. But it only made them worse. <laughs> uh, on the contrary, my fun loving friends, never have I seen such a radiant portrait of health. Rubbish! You're nothing but a swindler! A crook! A quack! My friends, you really should be home in bed. Yeah, rest is what you need. <sighs> Lucky for me, they were sick. They might have caught me. <sighs> Well, as I always say, a stay in the country gives a, a new lease on life. Sunshine, fresh air, all I need now are some new customers. <laughs> oh, if it's not my head, it's my tummy. If it's not my tummy, it's my rheumatism. What on earth? Perhaps this creature is listed in my physician's almanac. If it isn't my rheumatism, it's my sacrosmurphiliac. Oh. Hmm, Smurfs. Legendary creature said to live in the forest. Tis told that the blue from the skin of the Smurfs cures every human illness. Great leaping leeches. Now I can make a real miracle tonic. <laughs> I'll be rich. Bless <laughs> you, little Smurf. <laughs> Allow me, sir. Thank you. Who are you? I am Dr. Charlatan, physician extraordinaire. I have PhDs, ABCs, LMNOPs. Oh, uh, I am sickly smurf, sicky extraordinaire. I have shaky knees, a miserable wheeze, and a terrible sneeze. <laughs> yes, I can see right away that you need an expert attention. Allow me to examine you. Uh-huh. Now put out your tongue. Oh! Oh, my! Gosh, it's worse than I thought, isn't it, Doc? My poor fellow! You have a severe case of Smurfle-Werfleitis! Smurfle-Werfleitis? Oh, no! Uh, what is Smurfle-Werfleitis? What is Smurfle-Werfleitis, you ask? Well, it's very complicated, but if untreated, it leads to... You mean? I'm afraid so. Fortunately, there is one cure. Dr. Charlatan's Miracle Tonic. Here, just rub a little on the tip of your blue nose. Like this? Exactly. Voila! Your smurf orphalitis is a thing of the past. It is? <coughs> Already? Why, your picture of health. A veritable portrait of vitality. I am? Gee! You're completely, positively, and permanently cured. I am. I guess I am. I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured. It's a miracle. Oh, thank you, thank you, Dr. Charlatan. Is there anything I can smurf to repay you? No, no. My only motive is better health for the multitude. That's very smurfy. Well, goodbye. Oh, little Papa Smurf here's... Uh, perhaps you know of a multitude whose health could benefit from my miracle tonic. How many does it take to smurf a multitude? Uh, there are hundreds of smurfs in the village. That's the perfect number, my friend. Lead the way. Hi, everybody. Guess what? Oh, I'm cured. Who's me? What's he doing here? Papa Smurf, is he gonna like this? Don't worry, fellow smurfs. Dr. Charlatan is a bona fide doctor. He even cured my smurf of worf That's right, friends. Gather round, gather round. As you see, I wear my credentials proudly. He seems well qualified anyway. Yes, my friends, it's true. If you got a case of the blues, I can put you in the pink. Or in your case, vice versa. <laughs> put you in the pink of the blue, you did. <clears throat> But seriously, Smurfs, my miracle tonic cures everything, from bunions to blues, the holes in your shoes. Why, one drop will make you think straighter, drink sweeter, and it even keeps the bugs away. <laughs> Sounds too oh. good to be true. Well, try it. What have you got to lose? Dear, I wish Papa Smurf were here. I don't like this at all. So you see, my good.
good Smurfs. There's absolutely, positively nothing that my Miracle Tony cannot do. Can you do something for me, Crops? Ever hear of Jack and the Beanstalk? One of my first customers. Lead the way. Mmm. Uh, tell me, Dr. Charlatan, what's the word? Your melons desperately need a good blast of my Miracle Tonic. It'll make your crops shoot up like skyrockets. By golly, where can I get this Miracle Tonic? Just come to my camp, and for a small fee, uh, say, 50 melons, I'll make you the greatest farmer who ever split a pea or spilled a bean. I agree. Dr. Charlottman, do you have anything to make my goodies taste smurfier? <laughs> Why, of course. Lead me to your kitchen. Farmer Smurf, why in Smurfation do you trust that nasty old quack? Well, you see, Smurfette, any doctor with that many diplomas ought to know what he's snuffing. Oh, if Papa Smurf doesn't get back soon, Charlotte and me own the whole village. Uh-huh. Well, I can tell you're the Smurf de la Smurf of gourmet cooks. But you're badly in need of my miracle tonic. It makes bad food good and good food better. Can I get some before supper time? Certainly, for a small fee. Say, uh, a cake about so high, I'll whip you up a batch of Miracle Tonic to go. Uh, can your tonic make me stronger? I don't suppose your tonic could improve my looks. I mean, I realize it's practically impossible, but... What about helping me get more sleep? No problem, no problem. I have Miracle Tonic for everyone. Just meet me at my camp before the sun goes down. Oh, and uh, don't forget, bring the fee. Oh, boy! Me first! Hey, oh, 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 oh. Uh, wait. And what may I do for you, my little blue bonbon? The same thing you're doing for everyone else. Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Hmm. That's what she and all the Smurfs will become when I make my medical Smurf extract tonic. <laughs> I hope this is big enough for Dr. Charlton. Oh, dear. Wait, wait, everyone, wait. You're smurfing a big mistake. Oh, I've got a funny feeling about this whole thing. Maybe you should smurf some of Dr. Charlatan's miracle tonic for it, Smurfette. Ow! Ah, Dr. Charlatan, I believe this time you've struck gold. Blue gold, that is. <laughs> Dr. Charlatan! Over here, my smurfy friends. We brought our fees, just like you said. Excellent, excellent. Uh, just stack everything right here. And I'll be back with your Miracle Tonics just as soon as I've added the secret ingredient. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't believe this. Ta-da! Now step right up, one at a time. Oh, boy! Oh, one at a time, one at a time. It's a miracle, a miracle. Yeah, it's a real miracle. Look at them. Smurf a load of oats. What's all the excitement about? Hee-haw, <laughs> my melons, my melons. Look at them, twice as big and twice as healthy. Farmer, they haven't grown an inch. Hogwash, Smurf it. Any Smurf with half an eye can see what Dr. Charlton's Miracle Tonic did. It's a dream come true. But Farmer... Yippee! Oh, this is good! Mmm, smells so Smurfy. My cupcakes never tasted this Smurfy before. Thanks to Dr. Charlton. Here, Smurfette, you can Smurf the difference with one bite. Mm. Uh, it's very good, Greedy. It tastes exactly like your last batch of cupcakes. Nonsense, Smurfette. Who else wants to try them? I do. Hi, Smurfette. Thanks to Dr. Charlatan's Miracle Tonic, I just smurfed a whole log in two with my bare hands. Mm, Smurfette, listen to this. Mm -hmm. uh, always look before you leave. Uh, uh, a white Smurf never boils, and uh, never look a gift Smurf in the mouth. Isn't that amazing? Rainy, you've been saying those same things since the day you were born. Oh, no. I could never have smurfed them without Dr. Charlotte's tonic. I'll take another bottle. Me too, Dr. Charlotte. Coming right up. Oh, thank you, Doctor. How can we ever repay you? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Rainy. There are plenty of ways to repay me. <sighs> Gardening certainly works up a 
an appetite. I know. I'll ask Greedy for one of those Smurf berry tarts he was baking this morning. Sorry, Smurfette. These are for Dr. Charlatan. Try Farmer. Maybe he can Smurf up something for you. That's all you have left? One melon? Well, you see, Smurfette, I have to trade this season's crops for more of that miracle tonic. The new improved crop should be sprouting any day. But in the meantime, why don't you Smurf yourself some berries from the forest? Oh, all right. Hello, Handy. May I borrow your berry pail? Sorry, I traded everything for super economy-sized bottles of Miracle Tonic. But... Excuse me, I have to get back to work on a machine I'm smurfing for Dr. Charlatan. This is the last straw. I'm going to smurf that old quack a piece of my mind. Ah, what a life. No wonder Mother wanted me to study medicine. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Me? You've cheated the Smurfs out of everything they own. But my dear little Bluebell... Don't I... you Bluebell me, you, you! Ah, sickly, thank you. I'll be right back with your bottle of Miracle Tonic. Sickly, there's no such thing as a miracle cure. Dr. Charlotte is a fraud. That's not true. I was always sick and weak before, but just smurf at me now. You aren't one bit healthier than you were. You only think you are. Nonsense, Smurfette. I'm so strong and healthy, I can... Uh, uh, why, uh, I can even outrun Azrael. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. And I'll prove it. Ah, oh, here you are, Sickly. Sickly? Now you've done it. Sickly! You can't outrun Azrael. You never could. You'll see. I'll prove Dr. Charlatan isn't a fraud. I can't thank you enough for nursing me back to health, Papa Smurf. You're welcome, Melchior, old friend. But you should have called for me much sooner. I would have, Papa Smurf, but an imp by the name of Dr. Charlatan sold me this so-called miracle tonic. For a while, I actually thought it was working. It's amazing how believing in something can almost make it so. Exactly. That imp is nothing but a quack, Papa Smurf. You should warn your Smurfs to beware of him. I will, Melchior. Goodbye. Farewell, my friend. I'm all out of Miracle Tonic. Me too. Well, have no fear. There's plenty more. Yes, but uh, we don't have anything left to uh, smurf the fee with. Uh-huh. Well, I'll see what I can do. Dr. Charlatan is nothing if not fair. <laughs> I'll be right back. Maybe he'll let us pay later. Oh, I'm positive Dr. Charlotte will never let us down. Ah, I think my sojourn in the lap of Smurf luxury is just about over. And now it's time to get down to business. Namely, making the miracle Smurf extract tonic that will make me a very rich imp. <clears throat> I have decided that since you Smurfs are such good customers, I'll allow each of you to help yourself to one free refill. Yay! Now, one Smurf at a time. Let's see. Hefty, I believe you were first in line. Just step right up, Hefty, and dip in. I don't see anything in here. No? Well, now there is. <laughs> Next, uh, Brainy, wasn't it? Oh, this rheumatism will drive me mad. Always in the same places. My left foot, oh, my right knee, my left shoulder, oh, the small of my back, oh, and right back to my left foot. Oh. Now, who the devil can that be? Sickly, don't do it! You who has He must be out of his little blue mind, Azriel. Oh, no! It's you! Mock me, will you? When I'm through with you, you'll wish you were never born. Oh, this is terrible! Ah, it's good to be home. That's strange. Farmer's harvested his crops already. Greedy? No one home? No food around either. Very unlike Greedy indeed. 
Hello? Is anybody home? Oh, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Thank goodness you're back! Smurfette! Papa Smurf! Gargamel's captured Sickly, all because Sickly believed that Dr. Charlatan's tonic really were! Dr. Charlatan? That imp is a fraud and a swindler. I know, Papa Smurf. I tried to warn the others, but they keep smurfing back for more Miracle Tonic. Quick, we must find them and try to rescue Sickly. Sorry to keep you waiting, Harmony. That's all right, Dr. Charlatan. He who smurfs last, smurfs best. I really want to thank you, Dr. Charlatan, for... Whoa! No, no. Let me thank you for being so stupid. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps I'd better give this old ringer a trial run before I start ringing them. <laughs> yes, this'll do fine. Perfect! I'd rather be the ringer than the ring E. This is a painful decision, Smurfette. We can't save 97 Smurfs while we're trying to rescue Sickly. Unless, perhaps... Yes, Papa Smurf? Perhaps you can distract Gargamel long enough to give me time. Now, where is that recipe? Smurf pudding, Smurf stew, Smurf souffle. Ah, here it is. Cup of Smurf. It's perfect when you have one Smurf for dinner. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, 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 drat this for rheumatism. Yoo-hoo, Gargamel, bet you can't catch me. Smurfette, run, get away. Yeah! Smurfette! Yeah! Oh, my rheumatism. Miss me! Why, you... Ah! Quick, Sickly, run! Oh! So glad you dropped in, you little blue fools. Now we'll have not one, but two for dinner, Asriel. <laughs> Ouch! Ah, greedy! There should be plenty of blue in your hide. Great Smurf Man, are you out of your mind? Don't you know what you can catch from repeated exposure to Smurfs? Huh? Uh, uh, what? Smurfonia. Smurfonia? Oh, no! Oh, yes. In fact, I can already see symptoms in you. Me? No, no, I, I feel fine, I think. You look pale and weak. You're shaking all over. I am? Yes. You'd better sit down and let me take a look. Say ah. Ah. Hmm. Now, does it hurt here? Where? Here. Ouch! Yes! Worst case I've ever seen. Oh, no. I wish I'd never seen a Smurf. I'm doomed. Luckily, I have the only cure known to medical science. For a small fee, say, a thousand gold pieces. A thousand? But, but uh, I only have 50 coppers. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Well, rest in peace. Wait, is there some other way I can pay your fee? Well, there is one thing you could do for me. Ah, I think the oven's hot enough now, don't you, Azriel? <laughs> Who is it? Dr. Charlatan's the name. Forgive the interruption, but uh, I felt it my duty to warn you. There's an epidemic of sorceritis going around in this vicinity. Have you noticed any symptoms? Sorceritis? Who, me? Why, no, there's nothing. Ow, 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 just a bit of rheumatism. Aha! That's the first symptom. I'd better examine you. Actually, you have nothing but symptoms. The worst case of sorceritis I've ever seen. Oh, no! Oh, yes. But don't despair. There is a cure. Dr. Charlatan's Miracle Tonic. Uh, for a nominal fee. Fee? Well, of course, of course, a fee. <coughs> How about a vial of bat's breath? Uh, warthog's toenails? Uh, one slightly worn but lovable <coughs> cat? No, 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 thank you. I see you're interested in Smurfs. Uh, I'll let you have one in exchange for your miracle cure. Smurfs? What use have I for Smurfs? Oh, why, Smurfs are delicious. Or, or you can use them as bookends, or, or fish bait, or, or cat toys. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Smurfs have many uses. Uh, you can have both of them. I'll even throw in the cauldron. Done. Here you are. Gargle with this twice a day, Gargamel. Hey! All right. I've kept my end of the bargain. Now, where's my cure? There. Rub that on your head, and your Smurfonia will be a thing of the past. Ah, I feel better already. Well, I, I must be going. Goodbye, charlatan. And good riddance. By the way, my good Smurf, can I interest you in my Miracle Gray Away Tonic for your hair? Or my Miracle Wrinkle Remover? Neither of them works, of course. What am I saying? The truth. Thanks to my Miracle Tonic, you'll never be able to lie again. The truth? 
Uh, but I'll be ruined. Not if you hope to become a real doctor. <laughs> Why so gloomy, my little Smurfs? Papa Smurf, I was much stronger when I thought the Miracle Tonic worked. Not so, Hefty. You only made yourself believe you were stronger. You see, Hefty, it's all a matter of mind over medicine. Then I'm just as sick as I was before. In fact, I think I feel a cold coming on. <laughs> That's so wonderful. I think it's working, Azriel. No more pain in my left foot, or my right knee, or my left shoulder, or the small of my back. Oh, 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 now the pain's in my right foot. Oh, 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 oh. and my left knee. Oh, oh, that fraudulent quack, that swindling charlatan. Oh, 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 my right shoulder. Oh, oh, I'll get him if it's the last thing I do. Oh, 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 my upper back, my right foot. Oh, oh, don't just stand there, Andrea. Call a doctor. Oh, all my life, I've searched for the lost treasure of the ancient trolls. And what have I got to show for it? Nothing but bad feet and a worn-out treasure detector. I've had it with this worthless piece of junk! What is that? Whoa! giant vulture, fire from the volcano, and the fabled blue diamond from its cave. But, but, but that's impossible! There is another way. Somehow, <laughs> you must convince a fair maiden with a pure heart to marry you. But, but that's impossible, too! I know, but I have Spoken! Wait! Open up! Give me a chance! Hey! Nervous? 
Nope. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Smurfette, you're just in time to practice our Smurf dancing routine. Oh, don't be silly. Practice is for the birds. But Smurfette, we'll never be good enough for the show if we don't practice. Oh, really, Handy? Anybody can Smurf dance. Watch. A little dance music, please. <laughs> you see what I mean, Smurfette? We need to practice. Oh, no, we don't. I was just warming up. Okay, Smurfs, hit it. Get your hearts out, boys. <laughs> oh, just wait. I'll show them I'm a star. There has to be an easier way to learn how to dance without all that dumb practice. There has to be an easier way. Oh, 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 it's not fair. Uh, a fair maiden with a pure heart. Cheer up, my dear. Help is here. Oh, an imp. Ah, but not just any imp. I can make your dreams come true. Oh, Smurf dancer divine. What, what, what do you mean? Simple, watch. With these special shoes, you'll be the hottest buffer in the village. And best of all, no practice necessary. Go ahead, try them. Wow! I can dance! I can dance! I can goddess! Oh, how can I ever thank you? Don't thank me, my dear. One day you will repay the favor. Oh, yes. You can count on that. Good. Au revoir, fair maiden. And remember, there's no business like shoe business. <laughs> Whee! Now I'll show them. I'll be the greatest Smurf dancer of all time. Hefty! Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hefty, I'm ready to dance. Sorry, Smurfette. Practice is over. Who needs practice? Watch this. A star is born. Oh, gosh, Smurfette, you must have done a whole, whole lot of practicing. Practice? No. When you've got it, you've got it. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Boy, did I knock them dead. Oh, I'll be the hit of the show. I can feel it in my feet. Good afternoon, fair maiden. The time has come to repay my favor. Oh, sure. Anything. Good, because I want your hand. My hand? In marriage. In marriage? But, 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 but. You promised. And a deal is a deal, my dear. Well, I won't do it. You can't make me. What trouble, Smurfette? Uh, I'm not really the great Smurf dancer you think I am. These magic shoes did it all for me. I got them from an imp, and, and now he says I have to marry him. Oh, boo! Oh, don't worry, Smurfette. We'll handle them. Smurfette, we mustn't be late for the wedding. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, so you better leave if you don't want some trouble. Oh, there won't be any trouble. No trouble at all. Oh, help! These shoes! I, I can't stop them! Come, my bouncing bride! <laughs> Let me go! Help! Smurfette! Come back here, Smurf Napper! Come on, Smurf right here! Right here. Right here. We gotta help Papa Smurf! Tomorrow is my birthday, and the Smurfs haven't said a word. In fact, they seem to be ignoring me. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Ah, oh, I 
they knew they'd remember their Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, we've got to hurry. Smurfette has been Smurfnapped. Oh, by an evil imp. We tried to catch him, but he was too fast for us. Then we'll follow his tracks until we find him. Shh. Shh. I hate shh. Shh. There it is. The imp's castle. And there's Smurfette. Let look who's keeping her company. Quietly now, we can float across the moat on this log. <gasps> I guess we'll have to find another way. I think I've got it. Oh, if only I'd practice instead of looking for an easy way out. Oh, boo-hoo, I'll never see my Smurfs again. <sighs> I only wish I'd practiced a little more. Oh, Hefty. You made it! of my heart, I will give you Smurfs one chance to save your Smurfette. You must go to Dreadful Hollow and bring back three things. A feather from the giant vulture, fire from the volcano, and the blue diamond from its cave. Up a piece of cake. Oh. My friends will show you the way and be back by sunrise tomorrow or Smurfette will be my bride. Bon voyage! <laughs> Come, my little blue bride-to-be. Let's celebrate and also bid farewell to your Smurfs for they'll never leave Dreadful Hollow alive. <laughs> <laughs> Run, you big lizards! We're not afraid! Yeah. <laughs> Now I know why they call it d d red for how? Uh oh Since we only have until sunrise, we'd better split into three groups. Hefty, you take a team to get the vulture's feather. Yes, sir! Handy, your group is in charge of getting the flame from the volcano. Yes, Papa Smurf. And you three follow me. We'll seek the blue diamond. Boom. Yes, Papa Smurf. I say we owe Papa Smurf a debt of gratitude for giving us the easiest assignment. How hard can it be to get a feather from a bird? Ah! But then again. Ah! We'll never get a feather from that monster. Oh, don't worry. I have a plan. There's bound to be plenty of feathers lying around in its nest, so we'll just climb up and get one. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be easier than I thought. As Papa Smurf says, there's nothing to fear if you look before you leave. There's plenty of feathers in here, but they all have owners. <laughs> Help! Help! Put me down! Put me down! Ah! Pick me up! Pick me up! Oh, please! Oh, no! Help! We're almost there, and 
no problems yet. Oh, yeah? Look what this heat's doing to my complexion. Yeah, I've got a sinking feeling we're in big trouble. Oh, fiddle smurfs greedy. You're letting your imagination run wild. Blah, 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 help! Greedy! Help! Blah, blah, blah. Well, Smurfs, the blue diamond is right in that cave. It's so quiet. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to be afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. I hate afraid. Grouchy, stop! Huh? From now on, I lead the way. Help! Somebody, help! Clumsy, smurf like you've never smurfed before! Clumsy, uh, 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 uh. have the log! Uh, I got the log! Where's the brain? Don't worry about a thing! I'll worry for both of us! Whoa, whoa! Obviously, hail! The time has come to pronounce us imp and wife. <laughs> Hold it! Here are the items you requested. <gasps> you succeeded! <laughs> Incredible! Give them to me! Wait! You must release Smurfette first! You would give me orders? Gargoyles! Collect my wedding gifts and rid my kingdom of these pets! <laughs> you leave my friends alone! Hey! Great bit of Smurf dancing there, Smurfette! Come on, Smurfs! Let's put on a show that I'll never forget! Yeah! Stop them, you big 
Have you cornered a tasty rabbit that you are not about to share with your master? <laughs> if it weren't for me, you'd be nothing but a feast for fleas. And speaking of feasts, roast rabbit would be. Aha! By thunder, what are you? Uh, she's clumsy and I'm Smurfette. I, I mean, uh, I'm... We're Smurf. Smurfs. Incredible. The world will pay a fortune to see such tiny creatures once you become the star attraction of Bombast's traveling show. <laughs> you, my little pets, will be the most unique theatrical act ever beheld by human eyes. But, 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 but we don't do any tricks. Well, I can do a cartwheel. Clumsy, no, you can't. Oh, sure I can. Watch. Oops! Oh, uh, sorry, Smurfette. See what I mean? No matter. I, Bombast the Great, trained this empty-headed hound. <laughs> and I can do wonders with you, too. <laughs> Quiet! Soon these little pets will make your feeble dog act a thing of the past. Where are we going? 
Papa Smurf will never find us now. Uh, yeah, sure are a long, long way from the village. Uh, why are you smurfing all those flowers, Smurfette? So Papa Smurf can find us. We have to find them. Hold it. What have we here? Flowers! Ah, Smurfette likes flowers. And Clumsy was gathering firewood. But where are they now? Ode to the Messing Smurf. Where, oh where, can the little Smurfs be? That you... I hate sad poems. I'm a Smurf. Giant footprints. Hmm. These were made by a human. I'm a Smurf. Look! Wagon tracks! Hmm. The puzzle is beginning to smurf together. But what does it mean, Papa Smurf? It means Smurfette and Clumsy have been smurfnapped. Smurfnapped? We must follow the trail wherever it leads. Quickly! Faster, you lazy beast! Faster! And you cease that infernal snuffling! You're soiling my garments, canine. This is the right owl. What's this? Aha! So that's it, eh? Oh, uh, what are we stopping for? <gasps> Sorry, my pet. But your rescuers, whoever they may be, have just come to the end of the trail. <laughs> wagon tracks. Which one do we follow? How will we find them now, Papa Smurf? This road leads to a human village not far ahead. The wagon must be going there. And so are we. A, a human, human village? village? It's a place of many dangers, my little Smurfs. But we have no choice. Yes, Papa Smurf. again. And this time, do it right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bluster, stop! How dare you endanger my stars? Now back off! Boom. Please, Mr. Bombast, these tricks are too hard. You will do as I command. The great Bombas never gives up. Not so fast, Clumsy. It's not me. It's the ball. Whoa! <laughs> Fools. We'll just have to keep trying until we find something you can do. How much farther, Papa Smurf? Not far now. Now, don't start that again. That's it. Keep it up. One, two, one, two, one, two. I say, Blaster, aren't they looking good? All right, Smurfs. That's enough. I think you're finally ready for your debut. Every moment wasted is money lost. Oh, Clumsy, look how big everything is. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder how Papa Smurf will ever find us here. Hey, fresh fish, get your fresh fish here. Hey. Wait, 
here, my little Smurfs. I'm going to have a look around. Be careful, Papa Smurf. Oh, my Smurfs! Did you see anything, Papa Smurf? Yes, I got a very close look at a wagon wheel. Papa Smurf, there are so many wagons, how will we know which is the right one? We'll just have to look at all of them, Greedy. I hate wagons. Remember, Smurf, your eyes open. We don't want anything sneaking up behind you. <laughs> Is everything all right? <laughs> yes, I see. That was close. How close was it? It was so close. My whole life flashed before me. And what a funny life it was. <laughs> Hold it. Where's Grouchy? <gasps> Grouchy! Oh, no! I hate crowds. <laughs> Observe my pint-sized performers. You're about to make me rich and famous. And you, miserable cur, will guard my precious pet while I hang these posters around town. Is that clear? And woe to you if any harm befalls them. Understood? Don't give up. Clumsy and Smurfette must be nearby, and we won't leave without them. <laughs> Someone's coming! to prepare for the crowds and their money. <laughs> We've looked and looked. And looked and looked. I hate looking and looking and looking and looking. Papa Smurf, are you sure we're going to find Smurf dead and clumsy again? Of course I'm sure. I think. Escaped. You blundering cur! I ordered you to watch them, didn't I? 
you dare disobey the great bombast. For that you will pay dearly. When I'm through, even fleas won't bite you. I'm going to... <coughs> Quiet! When I'm speaking to... Aha! What's this? Run, Blumsy, run! Don't just sit there, Lotus Lump. After them! <coughs> I'm getting dizzy. Whoops! Mind the mule, foolish dog. When disturbed, he has a tendency to... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Kick! Come on, Clumsy. Now's our chance to escape. Clumsy? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> and they call me Clumsy. <laughs> Never mind that. We've got to get... Well, well, it appears that the show will go on. <laughs> ah, Azriel, don't you just love grey, gloomy days? It keeps all the peasants away. <laughs> How dare it rain on this of all days? It's ruining all my plans. Now there will be no audience and no money. Only fools would venture out in this weather. Well, well, and there's a fool now. <gasps> it's it's Gargamel. Ye gad, Smurfs, Azriel, here in the city. I knew this was going to be a good day. <laughs> Step right up, my good man. The show is about to begin. Stage fright, eh? Well, relax. Your audience of one awaits. And one penny is better than no pennies. And now we present... Huh? Uh, gosh, Smurfette, where'd Gargamel go? Right here! <laughs> At last you're in my clutches, you miserable blue termites! <laughs> Quiet, Azra! Uh, uh, nice doggy. I was just getting your little uh, actor's autographs. <laughs> uh, see? Uh, there they are. Uh, all nice and safe. <laughs> Uh, I, I wish I could stay for the show, uh, but... I really must be going. Yo! Unhand me, miserable cat! I can't see what I... So! Trying to see a free show, eh? Not true, sir. Not true. It, it, wizard's honor. <laughs> what now, Papa? Yeah, we've smurfed all kinds of wagons. We haven't smurfed that wagon. Uh, I'll volunteer. Smurfette, clumsy, where are you? Are you hiding in there, little Smurfs? It's too heavy. Oh, I guess I'll just have to eat my way through. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Any luck, Reedy? Uh, yeah, yes, Papa. All bad. It's no use. <laughs> They're gone forever. Poor Smurfette. Poor Clumsy. My little Smurfs, we've come this far, and we can't stop now. How dare you view my little blue pets without paying the price? Little blue pets? But, but, but I pay ten times the price. I, I, I don't just want to view them. I, I, I want to buy them. That sounds like... Gargamel! I hate... Never mind. Come on. The great bombast sell his stars? Never! Uh, but, but I'll double the amount and throw in this slightly used cat for free. No deal. And don't bother me again. I have a show to put on. Perhaps he'll change his tune when his little performers can't perform. I don't know who's worse, Bombast or Gargamel. Oh, that's a tough one, Smurfette. <sighs> oh, hey, 
The fog's rolling in. That's not fog. It's... it's... <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Asriel, Bombast will beg us to buy his useless Smurfs. <laughs> Smurfette, what's wrong? Gargamel must have cast a sleeping spell on them. Showtime! And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, to amaze and astound you, the one and only Smurfs! <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Don't do this to me! Hmm. Looks like your Smurfs have let you down. You again? Yes, and although these little creatures are obviously worthless, I'll do you a favor and... You'll do me a favor, all right. Let's step backstage, shall we? No! Wait, wait, Bombast! Listen, I'll make you another deal. Okay, the coast is clear. We must move fast, or we'll all wind up in the stage. Poor Smurfette. Poor Clumsy. Poor! Get on! We gotta get out of here! No, please! You'll give me a headache! You already gave me a headache! Osriel, do something to help me! And now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the show must go on, presenting... The Waltzing Wizard! But, 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 but it gets better as it goes, I promise! What, what happened? Oh, yeah! Oh, boy, am I glad to be out of show business. I'll bet they know just how you feel. Look. <laughs> Oops. What is it, Pop Smurf? Shh. Listen. <laughs> They're coming after us, Papa Smurf. Quickly, Smurf behind that log. But, but, but you don't understand. I will really pay you this time. Never mind. My payment will be your hide. Yay! <laughs> Bravo! That's what all good shows need. What's that, Papa Smurf? A happy ending. Nobody outwits Hoggatha the Witch and gets away with it. And that includes those horrid little Smurfs. They made a fool of me. They destroyed my magic locket. They even robbed me of one of my nine lives. But luckily, uh, <laughs> I have eight more in which to get my revenge. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Last of that breath. A dash of toad spit and... Voila! It's ready. Here's to the Smurfs and their downfall. Ah. Oh. Uh. Ah. 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 I, I, I did it. I'm a Smurf. Transformation! Uh, oh! Except uh, I... I haven't got a tail! Drat! I just have to make one! Oh my! Oh, this isn't going to be easy! This pea should do for starters. I'll just add a splash of color. There! Now a spot of blue. Uh, and presto! At last, I'm perfect. <laughs> now, all I have to do is find one Smurf. But where? Of course, a sarsaparilla field. It's a disgustingly sweet-smelling place, sure to attract disgustingly sweet Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> 
it on the dew. Oh, a smurf of beauty is a joy forever. Oh, brother. <laughs> Hello, fellow smurf. Oh, hi. Have some sarsaparilla leaf. Oh, uh, yes, sure. Uh, this is terrible. Uh, terribly good, that is. <laughs> Say, didn't you love smurfing with Papa Smurf at the Smurf Yester Smurf? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, of course I did. What in the world is he talking about? Well, we better smurf back to the village. The village? Oh, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> places, everybody, places. Oh, boy, it's time to celebrate the Smurf Smurf. And time for me to celebrate my revenge. <laughs> You there, Smurf. Where are you going? Oh, uh, I was just, uh... Get back in line. The celebration is about to start. All right, Smurfs. Hit it. Uh, la, tra, tra, la, la. Uh, whoops. Uh, oh. Uh, whoops. Uh, snorting instead of smurfing. Oh, uh, was I? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You'd better go elsewhere, snorty smurf, until you learn to stop causing trouble. Stop causing trouble? But I've only just begun. <laughs> uh -huh. Poison root rot should spice things up considerably. Soup's <laughs> on! Come and get it! Boy, I'm starving! Sure am hungry! I hate hungry. Oh, <laughs> Eat hearty, Smurfs. Aren't you having any snorty? Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm not very hungry. Must be slow work and poison. Uh, you sure you're all feeling okay? Sure. Yeah. 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 A trick, my snorty smurf. We're worried about you. You're so jittery. And you're not eating. Now open wide. No, oh, please. <gasps> I'm on a low poison diet. Oh, I mean, uh, I think I just need a breath of stale air. <laughs> Must find out what went wrong. Dirty laundry. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a washout! But I'll get them yet. I will. I will. How could I make this a bridge over troubled waters? Snorty Smurf, I got a surprise for you. For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Why, you little Smurf Alec, I'm going to... Wait, he just gave me a brilliant idea. My dear little Smurfs, this is indeed a grand occasion. It's thanks to your hard Smurf, we were able to Smurf this Smurf of art, which will finally allow us to Smurf to the other side. If I never hear the word Smurf again, it will be too soon. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Hello, <laughs> my little blue sucker. Snorty, what are you doing over there? Come on! I must find another plan. I must! Yeah! Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God! Help! Smurf! Help! Save me! I'll save you, Snorty! Help! Help! Save me! Help! Help! Grab a hold of this 
rope, Hefty. All right, Smurfs. Pull, pull, pull. Are you all right? Smurf it easy. <laughs> hmm. What could have possibly caused the bridge to collapse? Hmm. Smurfs, I have some shocking news. Today's accident on the bridge was no accident. <gasps> there is a Smurf among us. Uh, a Smurf? Who could possibly Smurf such a thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting dangerous around here. I better plot my revenge elsewhere. <laughs> Somebody lost her tail. Uh oh. Woo! That uh, wasn't me. Oh, Pop Smurf, is this your tail? Tail? Name of a Smurf. The Smurf among us is a fake Smurf. Turn around. Ouch! Why'd you pinch me? To see if your tail was real. A fake Smurf would not have yelled. Now, quickly, call the others. I've got it. Tonight, while everyone's asleep, I'll burn the village down. <laughs> Snorty, come quick. Papa Smurf has something important to tell us. Smurfs, there is an imposter among us. A fake Smurf with a fake tail. Uh-oh. Is your tail real? Are you a fake Smurf? Hey, Snorty, turn around. Oh, oh. Out of my way. Out of my way. The wicked, but ravishing witch. I'm making a magic brew to return me to normal. Then I'll stamp you out. I'll squash you all. <laughs> Hurry. We must break the door down. A few more blasts of toad spit and... It's ready. We're too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got you now, you little blue buttonskis. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're all so tall. No, it's you who are small. Stay away from me. Oh! Quick, smurf her before she gets away. Wait. I, I, I can explain everything. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean all those nasty little things I said. I was only kidding. I, I, I just wanted to be one of you. Don't you believe your dear old Aunt Hoggatha? No! Look, can't we go to my place and discuss this over some nice warm hemlock and chalky chip cookie? Oh, gee, maybe we should. Uh... Well, then again, maybe we shouldn't. All right, Hoggatha. This is the end of the line. Oh, no, please. You'll never hear my snort in the village again. I promise. Never cross this line again, you troublemaking witch. Now be gone. And may your shrunken size be a lesson to you to mend your evil ways. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They haven't seen the last of me. I still have plenty of lives left, you know. I'll get even. I'll get even. Yoo-hoo, Papa Smurf. We're all ready to pick Smurf berries, Papa Smurf. Good. Just remember to be very quiet if you go near Gargamel's lair. We will, Papa Smurf. Oh, yes, Papa Smurf. We'll be as little teeny tiny mice. We'll even walk on our tippy toes. We'll... I believe you, Brainy. Now, run along, little Smurfs. Bye, Bye, Bye Papa Smurf. Smurf. Ah, it does my blue heart good to see all my little Smurfs so hard at... Ah, sleep.
smurf the singing. Ooh. Hey, watch where you're smurfing, clumsy. Shh. What's the problem, Brady? Papa Smurf says we mustn't smurf any noise anywhere near Gargamel's place. Because Gargamel is our enemy and... I was just telling you what... my Smurficide formula. Do you hear, Asriel? <laughs> and now, for the final ingredient. <laughs> Eight drops of snake venom. Just one drop too many can cause a terrible explosion. <laughs> one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Asriel! I'll turn you into fur slippers, or, or a cat rug, or a... Ooh. What do you think you're, uh, you're doing? <laughs> Who are you? Me, Big Mouth, and me, Hungry! Oh, well, I, I, I don't have any food. Now, now, go away, I'm... No, go! Stay! Big Mouth, stuff face! Me hungry now! <laughs> well, I, <laughs> come to think of it, I, I, I may have a little something tucked away in my pantry. Show me goodies! <laughs> come on! Let's see what happens! No, Papa Smurf always says... Wait for me! <laughs> oh, Big Mouth like goodies! Uh, there. Uh, now, if, if, if you will just... Big Mouth still hungry. More goodies. Uh, but, but, but I have no more... goodies. Mmm! <coughs> this goodie? No, no, no. That's my cat. <coughs> Uh-oh, Azrael's going to get it. Yeah, he's rotten, but... Shh. If, if you eat that cat, uh, you, you, you'll you break out in a rash and, and get fur balls. <laughs> fur balls? Yeah! <laughs> Big Mouth hungry. Want more goodies. Maybe this oaf can help me get the smurf. Mmm, yummy in Big Mouth's tummy. Uh, you know, uh, Big Mouth, if you want a real tasty dish, I could prepare you the best meal in the world. Mm, yeah? What? <laughs> soup a la smurf. Mmm, soup what? Soup a la smurf. Huh? We'd better get back to the village. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I told you, I told you. I wonder if he has any more goodies. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Uh, we smurfed a giant, Papa Smurf! He was at Gargamel's! They're gonna make soup all Smurf! I warned them, Papa Smurf. I said, Papa Smurf says... Smurf soup? I hate Smurf soup. 
And Gargamel and the giant are going to come and smurf us. Oh, he's big and he had a big mouth. Quiet! Quiet! No one can smurf our village. No need to worry. We're perfectly safe here. Smurfs are easy to recognize, Big Mouth. Uh, they're little blue creatures and absolutely delicious. Mmm, yummy. Where's Smurfs? Oh, uh, well, uh, they're uh, uh, over that way, I think. Big Mouth hungry. Me want cat soup. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you must have soup a la Smurf. Uh, don't waste your appetite on cat meat. Uh, come, this way. Uh, or is it this way? Uh, I think you have to... Uh, Big Mouth. Big Mouth? He went off without me, Azriel. <laughs> Lost again. I can't stand it. I'll never find the rotten little Smurf village. Never, never, never. Smurfs! Big Mouth hungry. Here, Smurfs. Oh, that must be the giant. Well, we have to tell Papa Smurf. Feathers, hurry, hurry! Mmm, that looks like Smurf. <laughs> Big Mouth, follow. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, that giant is coming. Oh, he's so big and scary. But Papa Smurf, you said no one could Smurf the village. Yes, I know. Uh, but he's going to Smurf us into soup. We're going from the frying pan into the Smurf. Every Smurf for himself! Not for you! Stop! We must keep our Smurfs about us and face this danger to the end. Uh, I think it's the end I'm worried about. Mmm! Big Mouth smell goodies! Smurf's village! What are we gonna do, Papa Smurf? Quiet! We will greet the giant with a celebration. A celebration? I hate celebrations. Uh oh, Papa Smurf, the giant's coming. Look! Get ready. Mmm, Smurf goodies. Big Mouth stuffed this Smurf goodie in face. Looks yummy. Welcome, Mr. Big Mouth. <laughs> to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? Huh? Big Mouth hungry. Want soup? A la Smurf, of course. Oh, Smurfs! Get in the big soup pot quickly! Get the big soup, soup pot! Go on, Smurf to it! Yes, Papa Smurf! Why don't you wait over here, Mr. Big Mouth? And our band will Smurf you some dinner music. Ready? A one, a two. A three. Smurfy, isn't it? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll see to your soup. Hurry! Me hungry! I just hope I have everything I need to Smurf the potion. Oh, oh, Papa Smurf, Big Mouth says he doesn't want music. He wants... Soap, soap a la Smurf. Let's find Greedy quickly. Greedy, bake something. Smurf berry cakes, cream cakes, sarsaparilla cakes, everything you can Smurf. Me hungry! And hurry! Okay, Papa Smurf. Find Point Smurf and tell him to read to Big Mouth. Now I can get back to my potion. Big Mouth hungry! <laughs> Present for Big Mouth? It's a surprise! <laughs> Good, but too spicy. A few more ingredients and it's ready. Big Mouth hungry! If I have to search a thousand years, I will find that village. Do you hear, Azriel? <laughs> 
it's ready, Mr. Big Mouth. Mmm, goody, smell good. I prepared my special mushroom puff pie. Cold asparagus chips, smurfed truffles cooked in honey. Mmm, good. Fresh smurf berries smothered in a... Ow! Ooh, ow! Still hungry? Where's smurf soup? Soup? I could have eaten all that stuff. Now you want soup. Ow! No kick Big Mouth in corn. I want soup. You're coming right up, Mr. Big Mouth. We're getting closer to the village, Azriel. I can feel it. Now, Smurf, a bit of bee honey with a... Me hungry! I'll never finish with all these interruptions. I want soup! Now, listen, Big Mouth, you'll have to... Oh, Papa Smurf, are you all right? Uh, all except one cheek. Oh, want me to Smurf up a good one, Papa Smurf? What are we going to do, Papa Smurf? There's only one thing to do. Make the soup a la Smurf. Huh? I, I, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere, Azriel. Now, here's the plan. When the water starts to boil, you'll all jump in and... No way, Jose! Come back here! You have nothing to worry about. This potion will protect you from the heat. I want soup! That's enough. Come on. Where Big Mouth soup? Coming right up, Mr. Big Mouth. I'll just get the water boiling. Soup a la Smurf better be good, or Big Mouth smash village! Salt, bay leaves, carrots, onions, and five healthy Smurfs. Any healthy volunteers? Me first, Papa Smurf. And me. Me. Uh, me too. I hate volunteering. Very good, brave Smurfs. Hop to it. Yummy, yummy. Mmm, the wood is just perfect. Soup ready? Uh, no, 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 just one more minute. Time to get the Smurfs out of the pot. Uh, Mr. Big Mouth, the water's not hot enough. We need more wood for the fire. Wood? You know, the brown things in the forest. And since you're so big and strong, maybe... Oh, Big Mouth get more wood. Quickly, everyone out. Hefty, the clothes. It's Rodney. Call Big Mouth, Smurfette. Oh, yoo-hoo. Mr. Big Mouth, soup time. More wood. Well, how did you like it? <laughs> Too much salt. <laughs> It's no use, Azriel. We'll never find the Smurf village. We might as... Help! Big Mouth sick! It's Big Mouth. There's Big Mouth. And there's the village. Oh, 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 oh this is too good to be true. <laughs> too, too good. <laughs> What happened? Big Mouth ugly! Don't worry, that's normal. What? I mean, uh, it always happens when someone eats soup a la Smurf. Didn't Gargamel tell you? No! Aha! Now I've got you, you vile Smurfs! Speak of the devil! Smurfs! Smurfs! All the Smurfs I can eat! <laughs> Get them, Azriel! <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> Gargamel! He told Big Mouth to eat Smurf soup. Just ask Gargamel for the antidote to make you normal again. 
But in the meantime, could you get rid of this mean old cat? Cat meat! I'll turn these into Smurf kebabs, these into stew, and these into pastries. And I'll keep one for you too, Azriel. <laughs> Azriel? Where? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, well, it's a uh, uh, big mouth. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 my, uh, how you've changed. Uh, uh, oh, but not for the worse. Uh, 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 actually, you look quite... <laughs> big mouth ugly made anti-goat. Uh, anti-goat? Uh, but, 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 but there's nothing I can do. You, you see, I... You tell Big Mouth to eat soup a la Smurf. Uh, but, 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 but I, I... Make Big Mouth handsome again! Uh, but, but, but I don't know what the anti-goat... Uh, the antidote is. Oh, yes, he does! Yes, he does! Make anti-goat! But, 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 but that, that, that's impossible! No, it isn't! No, then throw you into forest. I'll make the antidote. <laughs> yes, I'll. I'll uh, oh, but, but uh, uh, everything is at my place, and uh, uh, I, I don't know my way back. Uh, 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 perhaps the Smurfs can make me a little map uh, from their village to my estate. Make map. Oh, it's very simple. Just turn left at the big oak, then follow a little path. I was just trying to be helpful. Give me a minute to smurf something. Well, this is simple. Uh, 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 pass the big oak and turn left, and then follow a little path. Uh, let's see now. We, we turn right at the... Uh, no, 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 no. No, it was left. Uh, oh, 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 was it straight ahead? Where is the goat? Big Mouth get mad! And when Big Mouth get mad, Big Mouth break things! Keep your shirt on. It's nearly ready. Uh, what did he say? He said he's almost ready. <laughs> it's ready! Will it work? Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, of course. <laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my! Uh, I, 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 I'll try another one. Big Mouth mad now! Uh, be, be, be patient. Uh, th this one won't fail. Oh, yes, it will! <laughs> now Big Mouth really mad! No, 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 this is it. I, I, I promise. Abra Cadabra. <laughs> Try this one. Uh, uh, hocus uh, Pocus. Big Mouth hates Gargamel. Me too. <laughs> I think Mr. Big Mouth has had enough. <laughs> now, Gargamel, Big Mouth eat you! Uh, wait, Mr. Big Mouth! Eat this. It will cure you. <laughs> Don't worry, Papa Smurf won't fail. Handsome again! But, but, but what was that? A sarsaparilla leaf. They're all over the forest. Uh, a sarsaparilla leaf? No, it's not true! It's not true! Big Mouth still hungry! Uh-oh, let me out of here! No, no, uh, you wouldn't like me. Uh, much too salty. Uh, look, uh, baby, uh, why don't you grab a few Smurfs and... Uh, uh, how about the cat? No Smurfs, no cat, one Gargamel! <laughs> me hungry! I wonder what soup a Gargamel tastes like. Oh, yeah, probably greasy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Let's see now. Two tablespoons of daisy pollen and a small pinch of dried fern. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! What is it, Rainy? Well, um, I was just wondering if Tracker was back with the truffles. No, Brainy. Tracker isn't back yet with the truffles. When he is, I'm sure you'll be the first to smurf about it. <sighs> Hi, Greedy. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? All those cakes look very smurfy. <sighs> How can I eat Smurf berry cake when all I can think about is truffle cakes, truffle pies, truffle pudding? Oh, I know what you mean. Truffles, hey, Smurfy. Are you Smurfing? Truffles are absolutely Smurfy, the Smurfiest tasting thing in the whole world. I hate truffles. <laughs> I love truffles by Poet Smurf. Truffles are a Smurfy thing. A treat to set before a king. They're good on oatmeal, ice cream, too. I love truffles. How about you? <coughs> truffles are a smurfy thing. A treat that makes one dance and sing. They're good on berries or cheese fondue. I love truffles. Why don't you? Truffles are a smutty thing, a treat to sad before a king. They're good on oatmeal and ice cream too. I love truffles. How about you? Truffles are a smutty thing, a treat that makes one dance and a sing. They're good on berries or cheese fondue. I love truffles. Why don't you? I still hate truffles. And I hate violence, too. Oh, no, a new wrinkle. Oh, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Will Tracker be back soon with the truffles? <sighs> yes, Vanity, I'm sure he will be. Oh, thanks, Smurfness. I need some for my truffle mud beauty treatment. Truffle mud? Ah, at last, almost home. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Smurf with Asriel and I. Hey, look! There's a hole in the bag. Oh, no! And it's empty! Oh, oh no! You mean you didn't bring us any truffles? Well, I did manage to save one or... One. One. Smurfing on here. Papa Smurf Tracker only smurfed one truffle. Then you should share. I was going to suggest that, Papa Smurf. After all, share and share alike. I always... Oh, Smurf up, Brady. There's only one thing to do, and that is to divide the truffle equally for every Smurf. <laughs> one for you, and one for you, one for you, and one for you, and one for you. 
Well, I've heard of sharing, but this is ridiculous. Smurf and Smurf and I kept he next. Thank you, Papa Smurf. Ha! It isn't fair, Papa Smurf. Hefty's piece was smurfier than mine. Are you kidding? My piece is so small, I can't even smurf it. It isn't fair. Mine was smaller. <laughs> Quiet! Well, my little Smurfs, it seems to me that if you're all depending on Tracker to bring you truffles, you must be satisfied with whatever he can smurf you. Oh, I <laughs> Tracker is the only Smurf who can smurf our truffles, Papa Smurf. So we have to depend on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Hmm. Well, perhaps you should ask Tracker to teach you how to sniff out your own truffles. Brilliant idea, Papa Smurf. Then you'll teach us how? Oh, thank you, Tracker. Mwah. Well, uh, uh, but I didn't, that is... Um, <laughs> Here we are, truffles! <laughs> Here's one. I smurfed another. Look at this one. Oh, thanks, Tractor. There's sure are plenty of truffles. Tractor? Tractor, what happened? Oh, dear, he doesn't look very smurfy. Oh, gee, what do we do? What's that? Oh, that's probably just pigs. Papa Smurf says humans use them to dig out truffles. Humans? Well, certainly. The pigs love truffles, so they smurf them up, and then the humans smurf them away from the pigs, and... Hey! Wait for me! Yak! Truffle thieves! After them! I think we're safe here. Oh, poor Tracker. He smurfed a fancy bump. Oh, gee, Smurfette. We better smurf him back home to Papa Smurf for some bump medicine. But which way is home? That way. way! Let's see. We smurfed from over there, but then we heard the pigs and had to smurf over here. But we certainly can't go back that way. The humans might smurf us. Tracker, please wake up. We need you to smurf us the way home. Ah. Hello. Oh, Dragger, thanks, Smurfness, you're all Smurfy again. Um, say, where am I? We were hoping you would tell us where we are, Tracker. Tracker, who's Tracker? And who are you? Who, who are, are we? we? Oh, goodness, Smurf, he's lost his memory. Oh, now we'll never get old. Never mind him, he's out of his Smurf. I'll Smurf the way home. Just follow me. Papa Smurf always says, Brainy, you're the smartest Smurf, and in any emergency, you should be in charge because... Hey, wait for me! Wait up! What's wrong, Smurfette? Tracker's gone. Gone? Oh, we have to find him. Yeah, he's out of his Smurf. You check there. I'll look here. <laughs> Jack, we teach these thieves not to steal our truffles. Take them to King. Jack. This is terrible. I can't even remember my own name. Now, what did she say it is? Um, a tooter or a tatter, a teeter, a... Tutter? Yak, yak, prisoners for king. Yak, what be these ye bring before me? They be thieves, O oh king, proper thieves. Yak, steal my troubles, then they be punished. Oh, but we didn't know they were yours, Your Majesty. 
No excuses. All the truffles belong to Nyak, me. But that's smurficulous. You can't eat all the truffles in the world, can you? Ah, Nyak, eat truffles? Yuck, we never eat truffles. The taste be very bad. Take them to the isle on the Lake of Doom. Nyak, Nyak. Make him happy. Thing? What thing? The thing with no name. You mean you're going to leave us here? <laughs> Gee, they sure are in a hurry to smurf out of here. Yeah, I wonder why. Now, where did I see those honey blue chaps? Uh, uh, spoofs? Uh, or was it the uh, swoofs? Uh, swoofs? Oh, that's it. Uh, swoofs. Now, where was I? Two table smurfs of daisy pollen and a small pinch of dried fern. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Not again! What is it, Hefty? Sorry, Papa Smurf, but we were wondering... When Tracker will be back with the troubles, right? Yeah! How'd you know? Just a smurfy guess. Actually, you're right to be concerned, Hefty. Tracker and the others should have smurfed back days ago. I'll smurf the others! Hmm. Smurf is me. They were here, but not alone. What are these other tracks, Papa Smurf? Truffle trolls, I'm afraid. I never realized Tracker would smurf this far south, or I would have warned him. Are they very unsmurfy, Papa Smurf? Yes, Jokey, I'm afraid so. Gather up some truffles. We'll need them in our dealings with the truffle trolls. Hurry! Hello! Hello, Swoops! <laughs> or was it Smuffs? No, Smiths, a Puffs. Spoofs. Hey, Tracker, you're one of us, remember? I'm afraid Tracker's taken a bad bump on the head. I think he has amnesia. Amnesia? Gee, I sure am hungry. You're hungry? What about me? Well, uh, I got a little something to smurf on. Troll cave. How do we get in there, Papa Smurf? I know just how to smurf it, Papa Smurf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, funny looking. Yeah, what you doing here? Here's a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise? Nyack! 
Smurf will look at all those truffles, would you? I'd say, I've heard of truffles, haven't I? Shh, we'll follow them. Perhaps they'll lead us to my little Smurfs. Now, what is... Leave the truffles here. If be not enough, let him eat the Smurfs on the island. Nyack, nyack. Great Smurf, look! Smurfs must be on that island. We must smurf them before that thing does. And I think I know just how to smurf it. This should be far enough, Jokey. Smurf in a truffle. Jokey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very good, very good. Smurf another, Jokey, and keep smurfing them. Smurf doesn't run out of truffles. You're not the only Smurf. <laughs> I believe I smell more of those triples. Or was it piffles? Hurry! The thing may be back any minute. Enough, Jokey. Now we must smurf back to the boat landing. Come along, Tracker. Tracker? Tracker? Now where did he smurf off to? Hmm, these pipples are really good. Wonder why they haven't caught on. <laughs> Thanks, Smurf, you made it. Oh, Papa Smurf, it's so smurfy to see you. Let's get out of here. Come on! Let's go! Not yet, my little Smurfs. First, we must find Tracker. Tracker! Hey, Tracker! Tracker, where are you? Quietly, quietly. The trolls might hear you. The prisoners have escaped! Papa Smurfs, the truffle trolls are coming! <laughs> but Tracker, where is he? Hello! Ah! <laughs> Piffles, anyone? Hurry! Every Smurf back in the boat! It's our only chance! <laughs> stroke! Stroke! Here they go! Yuck! After them! Stroke! Stroke! Mm, no! Mm, no! Stroke! 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 Mm, no! Mm, no! Mm, no! Mm, no! Mm, no! Papa Smurf! The thing with no name! Stroke! Huh? Ah! He might like these pimples. That thing. Here you go, Mr. Thing. Stuff your face. Ah, I think he likes the pimples. <laughs> yes, but so do those truffle trolls. Keep smurfing. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Go, 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 go. The thing be coming. Get the truffles. Truffles be gone, O oh King. Gone? Thieves! Smurf thieves stole our truffles again! Stroke! 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 Tracker must have taken the truffles from under their boat, and they can't feed the thing! Tracker? So that's where they came from. Well, Tracker, we'll re-smurf your memory when we get home. But first, we must smurf out of here. Ah, ah. Oh, no, he's hungry again. I don't think so, Daddy. Some ride. Right. 
Now, where was I? Two table smurfs of daisy pollen and a small pinch of dried fern. Pop a smurf! Pop a smurf! Uh. Oh, hi, Tracker! Did your memory come back yet? What memory? Well, don't worry, Tracker. Papa Smurf's working on a potion, and... Hey, clumsy! <clears throat> Smurf that board over here! Okay, Hefty. Sorry, Tracker. Gotta go! Tracker, that's me. That's me! Hey, I'm me! I'm Tracker Smurf! So according to your plan, Handy... Hello! My friends, shall we be off? Be off to where, Tracker? Why, to Smurf for truffles. Ah, yes, we all love truffles. Truffles are so smurfy. Truffles are so good. Truffles are so healthy for our little blue bobbies. Truffles are so... Oh, I wonder what they have against truffles. Dancing and laughing! <laughs> Stop it! Stop all that happiness, you hear! That's an order from me, Gargamel! Ooh, if only I could capture them miserable blue hides! But how? For years I've tried every evil trick I know, and still they escape me. Oh, alas, I have no choice but to seek advice from Balthazar! <laughs> Oh, the very thought of visiting him fills me with dread. But it's the only way, the only way. Smurfs, enjoy your disgusting happiness while you can. We'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for Easter eggs. Dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. No, 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 Clumsy. You don't find eggs under rocks. Oh, you don't? Of course not. Oh! Ah, this is where we'll find our Easter eggs. Oh, boy! Here, egg! Here, egg! Eggy, eggy! <laughs> you never learn, do you? Let me handle this. You're fat. Oh, shh. Don't talk. Listen, that's how you'll learn. But, 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 Brainy, you're... Trust me, clumsy. Why, there isn't a canine alive I can outsmart. <laughs> now, what do we do, Brainy? Hold me. Let's get out of here. <sighs> oh, I think we lost him. Right. 
along with our Easter eggs. What will we tell Papa Smurf? Oh, Brainy! Not now, Clumsy, I'm thinking. But Brainy! Shh! Eggs, 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 eggs. Oh, oh, an idea is forming. A hazy but undoubtedly brilliant idea that will... But what's wrong with this egg? This egg? <laughs> this egg, yes! Well, that was my idea all along. Yes, all along. Oh, really? Well, guess that's why you're the brains of the outfit. <laughs> I don't like visiting Balthazar any more than you do, Azriel. But we, we must be brave. <laughs> Remember, Azriel, be brave. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yikes! Yeah! Oh! Phew! Balthazar! 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 Balthazar, it's me, Gargamel, your only godson. I know. That's why I went easy on you. Now, state your business. Oh, yes. Well, uh, well I, I, I want to know how, uh, how to catch Smurfs. Smurfs? Smurfs? <laughs> Smurfs are nothing but a myth. The only place you'll find Smurfs is in this book. It's full of fairy tales about goblins and leprechauns and Smurfs. <laughs> it even has a formula for turning lead into gold by boiling six Smurfs. Turning lead into gold by boiling six Smurfs? Oh, <laughs> oh of course, <laughs> that is absurd. And here's a scheme for catching Smurfs by tricking Mother Nature into freezing them out of their village. No! <laughs> Mother Nature, Smurfs, madness! All superstitious madness! Oh, yes, of course. You're absolutely right. I'm always right. I'll be off. I've seen enough of you for one day. Uh, yes, yeah, of course. Uh, goodbye, Godfather. <laughs> And now I'll not only catch those five little Smurfs, but turn them into gold as well! <laughs> oh, I'll fry a few, pickle a few, and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few, and roast a few, and boil six Smurfs for gold. Hey! Of my undying yeah, yeah. devotion. Oh, how nice! 
Uh, but these don't look like mine. Uh, yeah, but, but they're almost as sweet. Uh, yeah. Smell them. <gasps> oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh my, I, I don't feel so well. There, there, Mother Nature. You're under my power now. Oh, no. You'll upset the balance of things. I, they haven't finished changing the seasons yet. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, Mother Nature. Azriel, we've done it. We've nipped spring in the bud. Soon Papa Smurf will come around to see what's wrong. And then <laughs> I'll be here waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, 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 Hmm, strange. It almost feels like winter again. No! Great balls of Smurf! Something is very wrong with the weather. I must call an emergency meeting. And this, my little Smurfs, is the worst blizzard I have seen in all my 543 years. We must take action immediately. I hate taking action. Andy! Right here, Papa Smurf! I want a ladder tall enough to reach the lower branches of the great oak. Hefty, clumsy, brainy, and vanity. Smurf in a hand. Yes, Papa Smurf! Jokey, Grouchy, Smurfette, Taylor, and Farmer, go to the storehouse and gather what little food is left. Yes, Papa Smurf! Something tells me we're in for a long winter. a few, pickle a few, and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few, and roast a few, and boil six months for gold. Hey! Smurfs! 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 Ah, 
Kamel has kidnapped Mother Nature. Mother Nature? And six Smurfs. Six Smurfs! And unless we free Mother Nature, the whole forest will remain frozen forever. What are we waiting for? Come on, let's go! Smurf. Harmony, handy, greedy, a door handle. Right, Papa Smurf? They boil Smurfs. <laughs> gold, lots of gold. Yeah, rich, rich. Oh, filthy rich. <laughs> Vanity, guard the door. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, hey, it's Papa Smurf. All right now, hang on. We'll smurf you out in a minute. Yeah. Ah, the handsome oh. smurf warrior guards his post. Look at those steely eyes, that firm jaw, those stunning whiskers. Whiskers, yes, Rion. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Mother Nature! Wake up! Quickly, Smurfs, quickly! I hate Asriel. Pepsi, Vanity, the closet! Right, Papa Smurf! Good work, Smurfs. Now get out while you can. Hurry, it's too dangerous here. Wait outside with the others while I revive Mother Nature. But Papa Smurf, we can't leave you here. Smurf it? That's an order. Uh, yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, poor Papa. I hope you'll be all right if Gargamel ever wakes up. If this doesn't wake up Mother Nature, nothing will. Ducky, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look, someone's coming. Another human. Oh, he can only mean terrible trouble for Papa Smurf. Ah, it's ready. <laughs> What, what is this? Uh, uh... Where is my book? I know you stole it. And what are the Smurfs? Are they real? Tell me! Tell me! Smurfs? Real? <laughs> oh, well, of course not. <clears throat> They're gone. My, my Smurfs are gone. <laughs> God, 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 God. <gasps> A Smurf? They are real. Papa Smurf! Sorry, Gargamel, but I have to run. Stop! Halt! <laughs> Gargamel, you're a blithering idiot and a disgrace to the family. Now, out of my way! Yay! Papa Smurf! Ah! Hurry! All I need to make gold is six Smurfs, and it doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. Watch closely, Gargamel. This is the magic wand of the future. It has the power to change the world. Oh, Papa Smurf! Papa! Papa! Ducky! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Fine, fine. But poor duckling wasn't so lucky. Oh, oh no! <laughs> 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 
Godfather, that's amazing. That's... Silence! Hear me, Smurfs, and hear me well. I am Balthazar, Master Wizard. Surrender six of your own to me, or you will all pay dearly. That's right. You'll pay dearly. Oh, no. <laughs> I will. Here's our answer, Balthazar. Uh, yeah, here's my of Gargamel. He put you under a sleeping spell to hold back spring. Hold back spring? Oh, yes, yes. I, I remember now. He had black roses. Shame on you, Gargamel. You've thrown everything out of balance just for your own selfish reasons. Oh! Oh! Wait! What are you doing? Let me go! You can't get away with this, you old... There it's done. Spring has returned. Yay! Yay! Mother Nature, can you do something for Dottie? Oh, the poor dear. Well, let me see. There, there, Dottie. Oh, he'll be all right now, Smurfette. Oh, Dottie. Now, that really is something to cheer about. Oh, Smurf, this has been a wonderful Easter. Thank you for everything. We were glad to be of help, Mother Nature. You're just lucky I'm not a few thousand years younger, Papa Smurf. <laughs> oh, and a lot shorter. <laughs> you -ho! Mother Nature! It's for you, Mother Nature! <laughs> it's a surprise! No, Jokey, no! Why, thank you, Jokey! Oh, they're beautiful! <sighs> Everyone knows that. When the cold air currents of the north smurf with the... Then how come the sun is shining, Mr. Brittany Smurf? Well, obviously you know nothing about physics. Physics, physics. When you got no clouds, you got no thunder. I hate thunder.
Well, it is certainly obvious that Baby is definitely not in his chair. Baby! Baby, where are you? I hate this. Baby! Hey! isn't a little blue rabbit, stupid. It's not furry. It hasn't got big floppy ears. What we have here is a leprechaun. And maybe a pot of gold. This leprechaun's worth more than a whole wagon full of rabbits. All right, my little Smurfs. Baby Smurf is out in that forest somewhere alone. We must begin a search immediately. Baby! Baby Smurf, where are you? Hey, look what I found. Baby's toy. I found something too, Taylor Smurf. <laughs> no, no. What's the matter, little fellow? What? Poachers? His mother and baby Smurf have been caught by poachers. Oh, oh no! So that's what it was. Bunny says, the sound you heard was the drum the poachers use to run the rabbits toward the traps. We've got to rescue Baby Smurf. Oh, poor Baby! In you go, Rabbit. Your new home. <laughs> At least for a while. <laughs> All right, Leprechaun, tell me, where's the pot of gold? <laughs> Uh, master, that sounds like baby talk to me. Well, of course it would sound like baby talk to you. What do you know about speaking leprechaunese? He just told me that wild horses couldn't get the secret of the pot of gold out of them. Come, Leon, it's time to check the other traps. All right, Clumsy. You and Greedy take Baby Bunny back to the rabbit warren. Yes, Papa Smurf. The rest of you go back to the village and organize all the Smurfs. If the furrier will not free Baby, we may have to fight. Meet me at the furrier's camp. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, my! My fellow Smurfs, you have probably all wondered where I have been. Well, where have you been? I have been with Papa Smurf searching for Baby Smurf. We have discovered Baby has been kidnapped by the furrier. Oh, oh no! Farmer Smurf? Yes, F.D. You get the Smurf Fairy Pies from Greedy. I think 200 pies should be enough. That should do the trick, F.D. Andy, you make sure the catapult is in working order. Smurfette will help you. Come on, Smurfette. the same way, Smurfette. We're coming, Baby Smurf! We're coming, Baby Smurf! I uh, can't understand it. Every single trap has been opened. Not a single catch. It must have been a couple of poachers. Shh! Don't say that, Janini. We're the poachers. This is King Gerard's forest. It was a lucky thing we caught that little blue leprechaun because we don't have enough fur to outfit an elf. 
<laughs> What's that, Leon? I said we still have three traps to check. Right. You do it while I make sure of my little pot of gold. Hurry, my friend. There is no time to lose. Another one of them little blue lepra lepra cords. The master will be happy to have two of them, even if this one is a little old and run down. The master will be double rich now. Instead of one pot of gold, he'll have two. But why should he have all the gold? Just because he talks lepra cunnies? Why shouldn't I be rich too? I'll just tell the master we didn't catch nothing and come back for you later. Then I'll have a pot of gold too. <laughs> Oh, oh, looks like we did catch something. Me. Amazing. It's all right. You can come out now. I would like to stay and thank you properly, my dear friend. But I've no time to lose. I must get to the furriers. Baby Smurf is in grave danger. for the consequences. shows you that not smurfing attention to matters at hand can cause a lot of trouble. But the important thing is, Baby is safe and sound. Do you think the poachers will ever come back to our forest, Papa Smurf? I rather doubt it, Smurfette, but... They're back! Run for your Smurfs! It sounds like it's coming from behind Hefty's house. Remember, my little Smurfs, the forest around Witchhaven School is very dangerous. Unfortunately, it is the only place to find Witch Hazel. We'll Smurf all you need, Papa Smurf. Just remember, Witch Haven is a school for witches, so keep yourselves well hidden. We will, Papa Smurf. Now pay attention, class. What basic element, if you touch it, will take away a witch's powers for an entire year? Anyone know? Brenda? Let me see. Uh, uh, oatmeal? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Oh, no. Magdalena, the four basic elements are earth, fire, air, and water. And the element that will take away a witch's powers for a year is water. Very good. So, when you graduate and go out into the real world to spread hate and evil, remember to stay out of the rain and never take a bath. That's all the time we have for today. Class dismissed. Yay! Except you, Brenda. I want you to stay after class. I'm very, very disappointed in you, Brenda. You're turning out to be a very bad little witch. But I thought I was supposed to be bad. It's evil that we teach here. Bad isn't nearly good enough. Good? Good? I've never seen that word anywhere in my school books. What does it mean? Forget you ever heard that word. Yes, Miss Gnarly. I'm going to give you one more chance. I want you to turn a songbird into a bat by sundown. Fail and you suffer a student witch's most embarrassing fate. You'll be expelled. Expelled? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. No! Not your best, your worst! Learn to be evil, or a rain of fire will fall upon you. Learn to be evil, or the earth will open and swallow you up. Learn to be evil, or you won't graduate. And remember, I'll be watching on my crystal ball. Yes, Miss Gnarly. Dear me, a witch without the proper education has a terrible time finding work these days. Oh, there's a songbird now. I'll show Miss Gnarly how evil I really am. Here we go. Dog into caddis, bird into baddis. Aw, oh, that wasn't nearly evil enough. Oh, what am I going to do with that child? Oh, there's another songbird. This time, I'll get it right. Dog into caddis, bird into baddis. Oh, well, that was a little more evil anyway. Oh, guess what you think you were doing? Mother Nature would be most upset if she ever found out you were changing her beautiful songbirds into frogs. It was an accident. It was supposed to turn into a bat. Oh, well, that's much different. Nevertheless, it wasn't a very nice thing to do. It wasn't supposed to be nice. It was supposed to be evil. Evil? Why would anyone want to be evil? I'm a witch. What else can I be? You could try being good. There's that word again. I wish somebody would tell me just what good is. Good is being kind to all creatures, great and small. Good is keeping fed and taking care of your health. I still don't have the slightest idea what good is. Well, perhaps it would be best if Papa Smurf explained it to you. Papa Smurf? Wait a second, Smurfette. I don't think Papa Smurf would like us bringing a witch to the village. Oh, nonsense. Papa Smurf would be the first to agree that we should help this little witch learn how to be good. So, there is a Papa Smurf. Hmm, if I can destroy that little blue goody-goody, it would be quite a bat in my hat. Oh, all I have to do is let the Smurfs lead Brenda to their village. Then zap! Instant fame and fortune! <laughs> I'm coming, Papa Smurf, to destroy you! <laughs> it's absolutely absurd, Smurfette. First of all, Papa Smurf has enough trouble teaching me how to be a wizard. Second of all, witches are ignorant creatures who could never learn the intricacies of being good. Third of Oinkus all... Oinkus Maximus! Huh? Is it brainy or is it a pig? How do I know? I'm just a kid. Well, change him back this minute. I can't. That wouldn't be evil. Well, Papa Smurf can change him back. I hope. I'd say we should get some rain in a day or so, Farmer. I don't know, Papa Smurf. My bunions tell me it won't rain for weeks. My smurfness, Brainy. What happened? Oh, this little witch turned Brainy into a big Papa Smurf. A witch? 
What is she doing here? I brought Brenda to the village so you could teach her how to be good, Papa Smurf. But Brainy insulted her, and now... I see. <laughs> well, being good is very easy if you feel it in your heart. Come along, Brenda. I'll try to explain goodness to you while I mix up something to bring Brainy back to normal. <laughs> Meanwhile, Farmer, find Brainy a mud puddle to cool off in. Glad to, Papa Smurf. <laughs> So you see, Brenda, good is excellence, value, virtue, and worth. It means quality, well-being, and honorable way of living. In short, good means Smurfy. Good. It's ready. You know, Brainy, I always wondered what it would be like being a human farmer. Feeding the chickens, milking the cows, <laughs> slopping the hogs. <laughs> now, now, Brainy, here comes Papa Smurf. He'll bring you back to normal. Have you seen Hefty? He was supposed to meet us here with those four songbirds. Here I am, Papa Smurf. We couldn't find the songbirds. He changed into a butterfly. But we did manage to find this, this scary frog. Oh, don't worry, Scary. Papa Smurf will change you back into a songbird in no time. I'm scared of them, too. I need a fresh big acorn to complete this spell. Scary, I want you to climb up there and get me one. Way up there? I'll do it, Papa Smurf. No, I think it would be a good experience for Scaredy to do it. Good experience? Papa Smurf's trying to teach Scaredy a lesson for his own good. This is not good. Oh, be careful, Scaredy. Here it comes. Good work. Oh, Hefty, please tear the cap off that acorn and give it to me. First, we'll try the formula on the frog. All right, Brainy. Now it's your turn. Who do you think you are? I, Brainy Smurf, have never experienced a more embarrassing situation than the one you put me through. Like Papa Smurf always says, evil spells and Smurfs don't mix. Evil spells and Smurfs do mix. The way I mix them. Run, my little Smurfs. And furthermore. Hey, wait for me. Curses, Papa Smurf got away. Gosh, a big witch. And Papa Smurf said this would be a good experience. Oh, dear, she's got scared. Papa Smurf, I know you can hear me. Turn yourself in to me at Witch Haven. Or you'll never see this little Smurf again. Papa Smurf! <laughs> we must rescue Scaredy. What about Brainy, Papa Smurf? Well, it's easy enough to reverse a little witch's spell, but quite a different matter to reverse a spell cast by a big witch. I need the page from her spell book. Hefty, I want you and Smurfette to take feathers and find a way to get into Witch Haven without being seen. I'll ride with little Brenda. Good idea, Papa Smurf. Meanwhile, I'll try to find Brainy a little <laughs> grain or something. Bark, bark, bark. Ah, come, Papa Smurf. Come flying to your doom. That's it, you little blue goody goody. Come to teacher. I'll teach you a thing or two. Good landing. It was, wasn't it? Well, well, well. At last we find out that evil is indeed more powerful than good. Here's our chance. Boy, am I glad to see you. Harvey! Here's the page Papa Smurf needs. Look out! <laughs> It is a long way down. You'll learn just how far down it is once I turn that tree root into a snake. Huh? Yeah! Are you all right, Papa Smurf? Yes, Brenda. That was quite a spell you cast. She's all wet. Now she'll lose her powers for a whole year. <laughs> I'll get you, Papa Smurf. As soon as I get dried out, Whenever that is. Let me first 
state without reservation that I don't want that horrible little witch in my sight the rest of her stay in our village, which I hope won't be for very long. Like him better as a chicken. Uh, what are you going to do now that you've, uh, well, stopped being evil? Oh, Smurfette, I plan to travel the world doing good now that Papa Smurf has taught me how. Oh, Brenda, there's that songbird you turned into a butterfly. This is a good chance for you to put your new outlook on life to the test, Brenda. Sure, Papa Smurf. What? That was very good, Brenda. Very good indeed. I just love nuts. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Here's this special nut just for you, Greedy. Gee, thanks. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Very funny. What was that? I don't know. E flat? It sounded like a horn. <gasps> humans! Hmm, that's odd. What would humans be doing in this part of the forest? Baby! Hey! Help! Yikes! Yow! Oh, Papa Smurf, what a mess! Did you see the size of that snake? <laughs> yeah! We've got it now, lads! Follow me! Is every Smurf all right? Papa Smurf, why are those humans chasing that beautiful stag? I'm afraid they mean to kill it, Smurfette. Kill it? But why? Yeah, why? They are hunters. Oh, those horrible humans! Just who do they think they are? Well, one of them was King Gerard's second cousin, Malcolm the Mean. He is the greatest hunter in all the realm. Oh, that poor deer! We've got to save it, Papa Smurf. But how? I've got an idea. Smurf me up into the tree, Hefty. What are you going to do, Harmony? You'll see. What? That cunning buck doubled back, but he'll never get away. Yeah, yeah. It worked! Hey, the deer is safe! Strip it! Look out! Hey! Wow! Huh? Faster, you fools! Faster! It mustn't escape! Are you all right, Strip it? I'm all right. But what happened to Harmony? Uh, there he goes! <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Great Smurfs, he's gone! Poor Harmony! What'll we do now, Papa Smurf? We must follow Harmony and rescue him before he's discovered. I'll go! Me too! Yeah, it sounds like fun! It may well be very dangerous. The rest of you, gather up these nuts and return to the village immediately. Yes, yes Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf! We'll be back as soon as possible. Yeah! Yeah! Goodbye! Be careful! I hope they can find him, baby. That's no use. These stupid dogs you trained have lost the scent. We'll have to return to the castle and try again tomorrow. Come. Yes, Sir Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you there is absolutely nothing to worry about, Smurfette. Wherever they are, I'm certain Papa Smurf and the others are just as safe as we ourselves are right here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if... Ah! 
What's that? Who's there? Ooh. Oh, it's you. You frightened us. Are you all right? Oh, you hurt yourself, you poor thing. Come with us to the village, and maybe we can help you. It isn't far. Follow me. Hey, Clumsy, hurry up with those other branches. Uh, here I come, Handy. Here I... Oh. Hey, look out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, gosh, are you all right, Vanity? Maybe I should lie down. My color's not too good. Oh, gee, I'm the same color as you, Vanity. Maybe I ought to lie down, too. Are you feeling better? Papa Smurf's moss balm should help your foot a lot. And these goodies will help you keep up your strength. Greedy. Dear, do not eat Smurf Berry Tarts. They are exclusively herbivorous, which means they can only digest a diet of leaves, twigs, flowers, or grass. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> he likes it. That's impossible. I just don't understand it. You know, Greedy, I, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something kind of familiar about this deer. <laughs> I cannot believe these worthless dogs let it get away. But, Sir Malcolm, enough! Tomorrow we capture that black stag or by thunder. It's the dungeon. Yes, Sir Malcolm. Yes, Your Grace. Oh, oh, begging your pardon, Sir Malcolm, but have you heard any word from King Gerard? No, Mrs. Sowerberry, I have not. Well, I know I shouldn't worry so, but it's just not like His Majesty to have left so sudden-like without even saying goodbye. There was great urgency, Mrs. Sowerberry. Affairs of state. Oh, well, you know, I'm so fond of his highness and that dear little clockwork smurf that whenever they're away, I just naturally feel that... Yes, yes, Mrs. Sowerberry, I quite understand. Now, I must retire, madam. The hunt resumes early tomorrow. Oh, uh, sleep well, your lordship. So, she misses you, dear cousin. <laughs> They call me Malcolm the Mean, you know. But what would they call me if they saw my latest trophy? <laughs> what a prize! <gasps> but my greatest prize is yet to come. The Black Stag. For when it is mine, I shall become king! Is that not true, dear cousin? With my magic amulet, I've turned you into a deer. And now your loyal subjects are hunting down their own king! <laughs> Poor King Gerard. After tomorrow's hunt, the throne will be mine. So until tomorrow, <laughs> dear cousin, pleasant dreams, wherever you are. <laughs> Clockwork Smurf! Clockwork Smurf! It's no use. I've got to get help before it's too late. Just as I thought. Harmony's tracks lead directly to King Gerard's castle. Then Harmony must be in there. Look, there he is. It's Harmony. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. Harmony, are you all right? Oh, Papa Smurf, I'm so glad I found you. That mean Malcolm the Mean has captured Clockwork Smurf, and he's, he's going to do away with King Gerard. What? How do you know? He has a magic amulet, and he turned King Gerard into a deer, and he's going to try to catch him tomorrow. The stag. This must not be. If we can get that magic amulet, perhaps we can break the spell. <laughs> we'll smurf that amulet away from him. Yeah, he'll never know what smurfed him. Oh, uh, well, won't that be kind of dangerous? We must try, Harmony. It's King Gerard's only hope. And clockworks, too. I guess you're right. Follow me. This way. Come on! Wow, what a strange place. I've never seen anything like it. The animals are so still. I'm afraid these are just stuffed animals, Hefty. 
What do we do now, Papa Smurf? First, we'll try to revive Clockwork. Then we'll find Malcolm's amulet. All right. Now, every Smurf, lift on the count of three. One, two, three, Smurf! <laughs> Too bad Handy isn't here. He'd know just what to do. Hmm. Perhaps if I turn this switch... Here. 
How is the fish smurf? We're all right, Papa Smurf. <laughs> you can always count on us, Papa Smurf. Chucky, look out! Oh. Now look what you've done. Can any Smurf see it? Uh-uh. It's too dark down there. What'll we do? If we had a light and some rope, perhaps we could fish it out. <coughs> well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Gently now, my little Smurfs. That's the way. Lower away! Hold it! There it is! Okay! Smurf away! Well, let's hope we don't run into any more unexpected surprises on the way home. Mrs. Sowerberry! Sir? Have you seen my amulet? Oh, 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 no, Sir Malcolm. It's missing. Have the servants search every room in the castle immediately. Oh, oh yes, Sir Malcolm. <laughs> I must find that amulet. Without it, I could lose my power over Gerard. Well, have you found it? We've searched the castle from top to bottom, Sir Malcolm. And? Your amulet is nowhere to be found. Then we must find the black stag without delay. Do not escape me today. Scissors. Now to see if the treatment was a success. Mr. Deer. Now you can go back to the forest. Whatever is he doing? Why, he's drawing a picture. It looks like a castle. But what does it mean? What are you trying to tell us? Wait! Don't run away! You're safe here! Hmm. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. As I was saying to Papa Smurf just the other day, it seems... Papa Smurf! And Clockwork! Oh, Clockwork, it's so good to see you! Tell me, how are all your gears? Oh, that's fine, fine! My little Smurfs, there is not a moment to lose. We must find the black stag and bring it here to the village. But Papa Smurf had just left. What? That's right. It was hurt, so we brought it here and took care of it. Great Smurfs. That deer was King Gerard. King, King Gerard? Gerard? I knew there was something familiar about that deer. We must find the king before the hunters do. I'll stay here and try to find a way to break the spell. Leave no stone unturned, my little Smurfs. His life depends on it. Yes, Papa Smurf. King Gerard! Uh, King Gerard? Clumsy, what are you doing? Well, uh, Pop Smurf said to leave no stone unturned! Oh. King Gerard! Hello! King Gerard! King Gerard! Hurry, Grouchy! We've got to keep looking! I hate looking! Where can he be? <laughs> Look! Wait! Come back! Yeah! Yeah! He's headed toward Three Air Gully! Come on! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> He's getting tired! Cures for antler rust, open mouth, grazing neck. No, that's not right.
one buck, hind and heart, let the transformation start. Now cruel Malcolm's curse adjourn, and then let King Gerard return. What in the... There he goes! Wait, don't shoot. It is I, King Gerard. <gasps> Your Majesty! But, but the black stag. I want him captured alive. Yes, yes Your, Your Highness. Highness. Thank you, dear friends. Once again, I owe you my life. If not for your kindness and the bravery of Harmony and my dear clockwork, I might have been just another prize for Malcolm to hang on his wall. And what will become of Malcolm now, Your Majesty? I shall restore him to normal only after he's captured. Perhaps my cousin will have learned a lesson after the dogs have snapped at his own heels for a while. Let's hear it for King Gerard! Hooray! Hooray! Now that's what I call 